Well, Nathan and Andrea, that's right. It turned out to be a beautiful day out here. The cold temperatures blew out this morning and we're left with a bright sunny day with temperatures in the low 70s. Perfect for any Valentine's Day plans, but it won't last. We could see some rain moving in. I'll have your complete forecast coming up later in the show. Back to you guys. Luckily for us, we don't have to worry about too many more storms coming our way. So we'll go ahead and take a look currently in Columbia. Temperatures are a little bit cooler, very similar to yesterday. It's about 62 degrees outside right now. Winds is a little windy outside. They're coming out of the northwest at 13 miles. We'll take a look at the rest of the state. The coast, your mid 60s, 66 in Charleston. In the upstate, it's about 58 in Greenville and in Rock Hill. So where is all this colder temperature coming from? Well, there was that front that has moved off the coast. That's what brought us the storms and the rains in the middle of the week. But now there is another front sitting right on top of us and that's what's bringing us the colder weather that we're feeling. But there's no moisture with this one, so we don't have to worry about any rain, unlike the Northeast. There is a storm system that has developed in West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland area that is giving them a lot of strong winds and some snow that they're dealing with. But if you take a look, there is a high right here. This is going to clear everything out and bring us even cooler temperatures. But and there is a freeze warning in effect from midnight to 9 a.m. tomorrow. So as that high comes, it's going to sit right on top of us, bring us some cold air down from the north, giving us the cold temperatures tonight. But as it moves past us into the beginning of our work week, our temperatures will start to climb back up because it'll be bringing warmer air from the south. However, we have to watch there is a low in the Midwest that's going to move across the southeast, and that has a chance for some rain on Tuesday. But before we get there, we have to take a look at tonight's lows. Uh, 33 in Columbia, 39 in Charleston. It's going to be a little bit chillier in the upstate, 31 in Greenville and 28 in Rock Hill. Now, like I said, there is a freeze warning in effect for the Midlands from midnight to 9 a.m. Current temperatures are coming in at 78 degrees right now. Not quite record breaking like we were thinking, but we're getting pretty close. Humidity is at 41 and winds are at, coming from the southwest at five miles per hour. Looking at the rest of the state, you couldn't ask for a better Friday. The coast, you're in the low 70s, 73 in Hilton Head. And upstate, you're looking just as warm. Greenville at 74. So why are we experiencing these temperatures? Well, there is a high that has moved off the coast. It's a strong high, so it's pushing this warmer air up our way from the south, giving us those 80 degree temperatures we're feeling today. This warm air is also hitting the cold air from the north, which is giving us this front you see right here. Now there's a low sitting on top of it that is quickly sucking up the air, which is creating a storm system. So up north they're having some snow and some rain. You'll see behind this low is another front that's going to be heading our way. So by tomorrow, it'll have, tomorrow morning, Saturday, well, give us a little chance for some rain, nothing to really worry about. But by the afternoon, it'll have cleared out because there is this high out west that's going to push it, giving us the clear skies on Saturday. Great for any baseball or softball games. But as it moves over top of us, it's going to be bringing us the cold weather that we'll feel on Sunday. However, once it moves over top of us for the weekend, for the beginning of our week, excuse me, it's going to, our temperatures are going to climb right back up. Looking at tonight, 57 in Columbia, the coast a little warmer, 58 in Hilton Head. Upstate, you're doing about the same at 57. Heading into tomorrow, not quite record-breaking temperature, but still 70, 80 degree weather. So we'll take a look at our five-day forecast. Saturday, 71, a little windy, so be careful about that. Monday, or the Sunday is going to be 63. That's that front or the high that's going to bring in the colder temperatures. And then as we start the beginning of the week, it's going to get 71, 79 on Tuesday, 79 on Wednesday. However, there is a 40% chance of rain that we're going to have to watch. So we could get a little bit of rain in the beginning of the week, but it's going to be warm temperatures. Hey, what's it looking like for the rest of the week, Parker? Well, we can go ahead and take a look at what's currently going on in Columbia. It's a sad for our peaches, but it is a gorgeous day out there for the second day of spring. It's 86 degrees outside right now, and humidity isn't that bad. It's at 33%. 
and not a lot of wind either. Southwest winds at 8 miles per hour. We'll go ahead and take a look at what's going on at the rest of the state. It's in the mid or the high 70s right now on the coast, 75 in Myrtle Beach, and it's even warmer in the upstate. It's 84 degrees in Rock Hill right now and 86 in Greenville. Well, all of this warm weather is coming from this high that's on, the, on Florida right now. It's a strong high, so it's pushing these warmer, warmer air our way, giving us the great temperatures we feel today. Unfortunately, it's not going to last. There is this low with a cold front attached to us that's going to be drifting towards us, giving us those isolated thunderstorms overnight, starting about six o'clock tonight and heading into tomorrow morning. But in the morning, it will go off the coast taking the rain away from us. Unfortunately, not taking the cold weather with it. There is a high up in the north that's pushing down the colder air that we'll feel tomorrow and Thursday. If you go ahead and take a look in the over, over the Rockies and over Texas, there is this complex weather system that has developed. It will sort itself out before it heads our way, but it could possibly bring us some unsettling weather over the weekend. Some possible, some possible thunderstorms and rains on Sunday. But before we get there, we'll take a look at tonight's lows. It's going to be in the 60s and the high 50s. 60s in Charleston, 60 in Columbia, 58 in Greenville. And then heading into tomorrow after that rain clears, it'll warm up a little bit more. We we'll have 71 in Columbia, 66 in Myrtle Beach. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the five-day forecast at that 30% chance of showers, showers I talked about when that clears out. And it'll start to warm up through the rest of the week. 68 on Friday, 76 on Saturday, and 77 on Sunday. So we'll get through a little cold patch, but then we'll warm right back yeah, up. Yeah, thank God. I love the warm weather. It sure is, Nick and Danielle. It's a sunny day out here, not a cloud in the sky, but a little bit cooler than the temperatures we were experiencing earlier this week. It's about mid 50s right now, and it's going to get lower. We could see some freezing temperatures tonight, but will it last over the weekend? I'll let you know coming up. Back to you guys in the studio.